Iron Man Raceway, the host of the final GNCC of the year. What a year it has been, 12 races so far and 12 GNCC race vlogs, and to think this is the final one of 2021. But Jesse, let's run things back. Let's take these folks back to Pennsylvania. What's up guys, it's Dylan here, Jesse's Mechanic. Uh, for this weekend in honor of Iron Man, the last GNCC round, we figured we'd show y'all something a little different. We're all loaded up, about ready to head out. Bike looks a little plain right now, getting the graphics when we get to the race, so it'll look a lot different come tomorrow. And we're back, it's lunchtime. Uh, quick detour to cookout. I'm on the mechanic diet, so I eat all the good stuff. Jesse has to eat bird food and rabbit food, stuff like that. Um, but I get I get a little bit of everything. Uh, today we're having a quesadilla tray, bacon wrap, and a chicken wrap. So if you need something to order at cookout, that's the way to go. Take it from me. Go say hi to Jesse. Get out of the truck and there's some kid messing with the trailer. I had to do some work around here. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We are here at the Ironman GECC, the last round. Uh, we just showed up Friday. It's kind of been raining all day, a little misty, overcast, but uh, this is the biggest race of the year for obvious reasons. Everyone loves Ironman. The dirt here is perfect and uh, yeah, the fans here are crazy, so uh, ready to have a good weekend. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoy. Also, another thing is we came out with these youth only limited edition Halloween shirts. It's got me holding a bag of candy. But uh, yeah, if they're not sold out by the time this video drops, uh, obviously you'll know it's in the video. I think, uh, how many do we have left? Eight? Eight. Eight. So we have six shirts left. <laughs> And um, yeah, go copy yourself one for your kid. Well, if you're a kid, go copy it for yourself. And uh, yeah, on with the video. Who decided to get out of bed? We have some meetings to do for next year. I got my agent with me. <laughs> yeah, me. She's got her coffee and her credential. Looking all official. Alright, so just started cycling the track. Looking good so far, but we ran into a fan. Bruce Johnson. There you go. And you said you're a state trooper? West Virginia state trooper. All yes, right. Sir. So be honest. Yes, sir. If I was going 81 in a 65. 81 and 65. Going downhill. Yeah. Would you give me a ticket? Would I give you a ticket? If you was going downhill and I seen it was you, I'd say, well, Mr. Ansley, yeah, be safe, slow it down, have a good day. See, that's, I needed you two years see? ago. I got my first speeding ticket like well, that. see, if you'd have met me two years ago, we could have made that happen. Uh, but you got to come to Southern West Virginia. I work in the southern part where the Hatfield McCoy Trails is at. Okay. Yeah, that's my area. There you go. So I'm safe to speed in your area. You come down, say, hey, I spoke to Senior Trooper Johnson. He's with West Virginia State Police, and he said, I need to get where I'm going. There you go. You go where you're going. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> she said yes, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. You didn't know what happened. That was the setup. setup. Right there. Right there. Right there.
13 rounds. I'm dead. Same, bud. <laughs> I'm still fasting, so I can't eat anything, so I just gotta lay here and think about food for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, not the case. No bubbles? Yeah. Show up the next day. Yeah, that's true. With the, with this weather, I use that excuse as well. Well, they're hot. They'll be hot in here, and then in the morning it'll be really cold. So they shrink and contract and build bubbles. And they swell back up. Looks fresh though. cycling the track for the second time quads are already done and what's really special about this weekend is the youth bikes are actually racing right now so it's like five o'clock saturday afternoon they're supposed to start at four but all the delays five o'clock they're out racing i'm about to wrap it up here now and then uh the trick-or-treaters so we're gonna try to get some uh, trick-or-treaters for the vlog hand out some candy maybe eat some myself we'll see but uh yeah, dirt's looking good. It's gonna rain tomorrow, but uh, nothing you can do about it besides prepare and uh, be ready. So that's what we're gonna do. I don't even know what to say, but we're about to go to the concert, but you got a shirt or something? Listen, so recently on the Pod Podcast was voted the number one sponsor of the KTM Off-Road. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to have to put an asterisk on that one. As such, since I am such a big supporter of the KTM Off-Road team, I wanted to present the Jesse Angeli blog oh, with an OTP shirt. Dude, look at that. As a, hey, as a two-time guest of On the Pod Podcast, you deserve a shirt. Oh. That's so awesome. Hey, even though, listen, not. I know it's been tough. Like you win a Pro Two champion, national championship, and people. But since you won't post that or you got your championship, that. You OTP that. wants to recognize <laughs> Pro Two championship. Actually, ball. national enduro. I want because I don't promote that company either. But <laughs> National Enduro. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, my god. Oh. Also, if you want to be canceled, just post this whole video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No one can cancel me because I've been canceled for a couple of years. So. <laughs> this dog legit just sits in a chair. Uh, huh. It's his chair. <laughs> <laughs> Scared him off. You ready for the concert? All right, let's go. It's actually so uh, this weekend the uh, C riders are going off at 8 o'clock and then the women and the sportsmen and all that the vet guys will be going off at 10 so it'll be a little different 
Um, I'm not sure how much it rained last night, so that's why I'm walking. I don't want to tear my bicycle too much. So we're gonna go out in the woods, check out some mud holes, see what's getting bad. It's supposed to rain really bad at one o'clock today, so. Um, yeah, we're just gonna play it by ear and uh, watch some racing. Again from uh, Yamaha Racing, and glad to have the big wings. Alright, he's got to take off the watch first. Is he always a mud flea? You ready for the mud? What time is it? 2.05. Kyle, and we haven't even had the warning, the buzzer warning. So at least 2.30 start, probably 3 o'clock. It was a two hour delay. It kind of stopped raining, but I think we're going to keep getting hit with more rain. Honestly, that's the best thing that could happen right now is it just keep raining because it'll help the track. If it stops raining, it'll tack up and be really bad. Hey, Gus blew the horn like 10 minutes ago and it stopped raining. And now you can see that it is raining pretty hard again. And we're going to race it now. what's going on all right so the track is just garbage there's no other there's no separate way to put it than that during the morning race i talked to people after the morning race that said they got stuck numerous times because it was peg t during the morning race all these pro and a riders are out there now worse so everybody's getting stuck kelly toad they're all getting stuck because the track's impassable, so now we've got X3 guys, Open A guys, Four Stroke A, all up in there because they're going around everywhere that the bikes, the pro bikes aren't. So it's just a game of, you know, go wherever and hope to God you don't get stuck. What happened, Taylor? Apparently something happened with Jesse's motor, so he's done. So, no bottle. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. What do you expect? In these conditions. Yeah. Not much else we could do about it. Just 
Swim over and help him. <laughs> so we're watching, unfortunately. My bike will not start. Uh, it happened like a mile ago. We finally got to restart it. It came to the creek crossing. It must have sucked too much water or something. And you can tell, like, it is so deep. I've never raced or seen anything like this in my entire life. And uh, I was doing pretty decent. I was, I was just slowly going, but uh, we're sidelined right now. We're not dealing. It like clicks. It starts for me. I know it does. <laughs> in the pits and out there on the track. <laughs> it started for me and AG. I mean, his thumb's just too small. No, my my helmet got covered sitting there, so I had to wash it off. Oh, why did you leave it with us? Like, look, and it's hanging over right like. <laughs> We have Jesse getting pulled out here and Tom getting pulled out here and Coastal is getting pulled out. So everything is getting pulled out right now. Oh, you're getting this for the vlog? Yeah. Vlog life, baby. I've been recording the whole process.